Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this Monday afternoon. Uh, if you've kept up with my channel, you know a couple days ago I announced kind of that I was going to change things up for this week. And by changing that up, what I really mean is we're going to uh, do everything with dumbbells this week. And uh, I may try to find some different moves to do or I may stick to the tried and true it just it really depends on what what I feel at the moment so uh, today what I have wrote down is R is R today what I have wrote down is R some dumbbell squats and uh, some Bulgarian split squats, which I've only tried maybe one time and I sucked at them. But I'm going to try and not suck at them enough to make this a worthwhile effort. So, and also we're going to be doing triceps and I'm going to be doing the standard lay down two hand one dumbbell skull crushers. You know, that nice long uh, exercise word there. So, Anyway, so, and uh, I'm not sure yet because it's like 107 degrees in my office. Yes, I need an air unit. Uh, but I may uh, hit the heavy bag today as well at some point. If I do that, that'll be a separate video. Um, so anyway, we're going to get started. I'm going to try and do my best today and this whole week to try and kind of mix things up a little bit. And we'll just see how it goes. So, hope you guys enjoy, stick around, and uh, maybe we'll learn something new together, I don't know. Stick around, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and try some dumbbell squats. And I'm going to try and get the dumbbells up like a normal barbell, kind of, the best I can. We'll see how it goes. We got 30s. All right, guys, so I cut out a lot of the video because it was just going to be a way too long video and it's still over 17 minutes long. But uh, I'm going to show a couple of sets with these with uh, each exercise that I do. This here is, of course, uh, just some 30 pounds that we're doing. Again, I don't do these ever, so it's uh, a little awkward, but uh, I still get it done. And uh, overall, not too bad and uh, I'm trying to make sure that I go down at least parallel but again it's very difficult uh, you know I'm concentrating on holding the dumbbells and concentrating on moving and and uh, all that good stuff so a little bit different than uh, the standard barbell squats and uh, we're gonna move up a little bit the next the next set I'll show will be uh, my highest that I go and that'll be 50s. 50 pound. <clears throat> so again, trying to get them situated uh, to where I feel kind of comfortable. But uh, it's kind of awkward, kind of odd. And uh, I talk about some of this in the closing of the video, so I won't talk about too much. But just know that uh, <laughs> overall, not too bad. I could see me doing these again at some point, maybe. So... Yeah, let's move on to the next exercise. All right, guys, I'm going to try my luck at some Bulgarian squats. Uh, they're not going to be perfect, I'm sure, because I don't do them. But uh, I'm going to just give them my best and hope that's enough. Uh, my, I have really bad balance, number one. Number two, my knees are not great. Number three, my hips and back and pelvic area are garbage. So number four... I may end up having to use like a stick or something to help keep me balanced and I don't know if I'll be able to use a weight with that or not we'll just kind of see I'm gonna try and do a, a trial set a warm-up set and uh, just see how things go add on top of that my list of injuries and crap I've got gout in my left big toe which doesn't give me a lot of flexibility in my big toe and plus it kind of can get aggravated if it's in kind of a weird position and I might be putting pressure on it or something 
So we're going to do our best and see what we get. And I mean, I have horrible balance. So uh, a couple of these uh, sets are going to look bad, but not as bad as this first set. Uh, just getting my foot used to being up that high and trying to get the balance. And again, if I try to bend that left big toe at all, it starts to be uncomfortable and kind of cramp up. And so I got to kind of pay attention to what I'm doing and that was my foot on all that. Final. And I just said something there, <laughs> but uh, yeah, not easy. But uh, you're gonna. I am not gonna be able to go all the way down. Let me finish talking. This bench is 21 inches tall. That's a tall bench. So I'm not gonna be able to go all the way down. Talk, talk, talk. Is that all that guy does? Anyway, uh, my my later sets that I did uh, were quite a bit better, and you'll see that with the one weighted set that I'm gonna share with you and uh, not too bad so uh, again it's not picture perfect um, but uh, not too bad just for someone who's trying it out and uh, getting the feel for it and uh, so yeah you'll see that my the the weighted set that I share with you looks a little bit better so we'll wait Try this side again we'll wait for that to uh to judge that's my foot on the bench Yeah. If I do those, I may have to not use any weight at all. So uh, I, I, that's just how it has to be. And uh, like I said, that's a very tall bench. And uh, so I'm going to carry on and do the best I can. And uh, if I can add 20 pound, a 20 pound dumbbell, okay. If not, well, okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna try and hold some 20 pound dumbbells and do a set and see how that goes. I'm assuming I can use two or one, I don't know. I'm just gonna use two, see how it goes. So here we are, like I said, we got the 20s and uh, you know, getting getting myself set up is kind of tricky. Of course, like I mentioned, uh, my balance is that of a, a ball rolling down a hill. So, but I found myself pretty happy with what I did, and I know it's probably still not picture perfect, you know, textbook form, but it's a start, and you know, we got to start somewhere, guys. And uh, yeah. So at least I'm balancing a little bit there and I'm not falling all over too bad and the following sets that I did were pretty much the same not too bad so you know it takes time to learn some of these movements especially those that really depend on some balance and uh, that some of us might not have so yeah anyway guys let's uh, move on to the next exercise and get this done All right, guys, we're moving on to the one dumbbell, two hand skull crushers that I do. Starting with the 50s, we're gonna do two sets of 50s, and then probably two sets of the 100s, and then probably two sets of the 80s. We'll see how I feel. So again, for those of you that don't know really, uh, this is one of my very favorite exercises. It's one exercise that I kind of don't look forward to because it hurts so bad once I go up to the heavy weights because it's just that much, you know, it's a lot of strain on that tricep. And you'll notice that I don't come straight up over my head whenever I go to that full extension there. I keep the weights back behind my head because I just like the way it feels when it 
stretches out my tricep and then I kind of keep it right there where I'm stopping. It just kind of keeps the weight on my tricep. And guys, I wear a belt when I do these really heavy because I have a problem here that gets aggravated when I go heavy. So having the belt up high helps to keep pressure on it. And uh, allows me to do them uh, without a whole lot of pain. <clears throat> and I wear the gloves with the 100s because when you're holding on the inside of those dumbbells, these are single plate dumbbells, uh, they tend to squish your finger in between the thumb and the index in here. So when you're like that, it gets caught between the weight plate and the collar. So. I'll uh, usually, uh, if I remember, I wear gloves. So we're gonna do the 100s. I don't know if I'm gonna go and worry about getting sets of 10. I'm hot and uh, I'm ready to be done. So I may just push out a couple sets of five, but that's better than nothing. So these here are the big boys. These right here will wear you out. And uh, it always taxes my left tricep more so, or even my whole entire left arm. Uh, if you could get a close up of them, if you were here to watch, uh, you'd see it. My left arm really starts shaking after about five reps. And uh, so anytime I get more than five reps, which is pretty much all the time with these, you know, it's, uh, it's pushing me pretty good. But uh, you'll notice I didn't stop at five. I went ahead and got my normal 10 because that's just how I roll, guys. Roll and roll. <clears throat> All right, guys, and just like that, we are done with this first day of this new kind of routine. And this is only, I'm just doing it this, uh, I'm just doing this this week. It's not like something I'm doing for a, a long period of time. It's just this week to kind of mix things up a little bit so uh the dumbbell squats were awkward i know some people that hold the dumbbells down uh to their sides and do the squats but for me that's almost like doing a romanian deadlift or stiff leg deadlift or depending on how you do it uh just a standard deadlift or so my my opinion on how i wanted to do them was I want to get the weights up here where I still feel like I'm doing a squat and I know some people hold them up as well but I've seen a lot of people over the years hold them down so anyway uh, they were not easy getting them uh, into place and feeling comfortable with them and also if you know my body if you know my problems I have really bad shoulders and it was burning mostly my left one had that burn like you, you know where you want to scream kind of burn Whew. painful but we got through it and that's how you got to do you just got to breathe through it and get yourself through the set and then go uh, relax for a second and uh, on the Bulgarian split squats if that's what I'm doing there I think that's what I'm doing uh, of course I did the couple of sets with the body weight and uh, as you can tell, I do have a balance problem, and I've mentioned that before. So anyway, uh, you did see I went up to the 20s, and I know some people, I believe, will use one dumbbell, and some people will hold two dumbbells. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and hold two dumbbells just for the sake of feeling like I'm balanced, and you know, not just balanced, you know, from falling over, but just balanced. I'm holding two dumbbells. So anyway. 
Uh, they did feel kind of like they gave me a little bit of balance, a little bit. Once I got going and I, I had to focus and and, uh, and all that, you'll notice I was really trying to stay focused on a... I had a couple spots over here on my wall I was trying to stay focused on. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. It was something new. Again, I've got limited range of motion because of my problems. Pardon me. And again, that bench is 21 inches tall, which is way tall. So, uh, you know, I did what I could and I felt it. I could feel, you know, I can feel that I got a little workout. So that's what matters. And, uh, then finishing off the day with those tricep, one dumbbell, two hand skull crusher thingies that I do. Boy, those are tough. They never get any easier, guys, ever. <laughs> and they just never do. So, anyway, overall, a decent start to uh, kind of a, a different little week that I'm giving myself. So, I'm glad to be done. So, anyway, guys, uh, I hope I give you a little inspiration to maybe, you know, do something uh, good and healthy for yourself inside and out. And it's not easy. You're going to suffer a little bit. There's some suffering. Even if you enjoy what you're doing, you're going to suffer a little bit. All right, so be prepared. Uh, so if I if I help you along in any sort of fashion, any sort of way, guys, uh, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. That's me, your sweaty nasty host and uh, don't forget get up get out get red do it to it and we'll see you next time on the body beat down tomorrow see ya get up get out get red and do it to it